G'day mates, I'm your friendly neighbourhood psycho, Psych Ice Man, welcoming you to Half-Life Source. Yes, I promised I would do it, I'm making good on this promise. And if you don't like that, sue me. Although, don't actually, I'd prefer if you didn't sue me. Anyway, starting off, Chapter 1, Black Mace Roombound. Let's get to it. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This Good morning, disembodied voice. Provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. Good morning, Barney Callahan. The time is 8:47 a.m. Current top Wrong. temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Yes, most annoying part of any Half-Life game, the intro. Inbound from level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Miss Meow. And it wouldn't be half life without the millions of loading screens now, would it? Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound. No smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Whoops. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers oh. are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, Disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Don't touch high voltage rails. You don't say. Yes, I apologize for this incredibly boring intro, but I know some people on my channel haven't actually played Half Life games. So, this is especially for them and if you guys think this first video is boring blame them even though I'm the one who has uploaded and recorded this but hey I've had to sit through this you guys have to it only sounds fair to me and of course we have a loading screen. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. That's 7pm in case you don't know 24 hour time. Personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact well, like how they Black don't Mesa move back. Oh wait, yeah, they do. Never mind. Information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of look at that lying effect. Physics, biotechnology or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment yep. division. Yep, tippity top of the line for the 2001. The research facility is an equal opportunity employer. And before any of you yell at me for subtitles, even though I know you already have, look at that. Keyboard stuff, mouse stuff, audio stuff, lack of subtitles, video stuff, lack of subtitles, advanced, lack of subtitles. So, ne. Believe me, if it had subtitles, I would have it on, because, well, even I prefer subtitles. And to repeat that in case the loading screen lagged out on me, which it tends to do whenever I load, 
even I like subtitles. Biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup. <gasps> it's the G Man! Hello, G Man! Hello! Hello! Look at me! Look at me! I'm Gordon Freeman! Yes! Look at me! Look at me! In the course of your G Man! Look at me! Contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on you. And the food radiation spill. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. And now we get into the actual story of the Half Life game. Well, games, I guess, is set up the backstory for the rest of the series. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very mm, safe nope. and productive Morning, day. Looks like you're running Thank late. you, disembodied voice. Yes, I know, Barney Clone, I am running late. You wanna go me about that, huh? Hmm? You wanna go me? I will throw you off this bridge! Hmm? Yeah, you better run, Barney. Push me. Push me, I'm too lazy to walk. Push me. Push me. You son of a bitch. I know you can get on this. And... You wanna open up for me, buddy? In the airlock. Anonymous materials. And I'm gonna chuck this in with the video for chapter one. What I was thinking about doing was chopping each of these videos into the different chapters. So these first so this first video will probably be almost nothing. It will just be backstory, so actually come to think of it, first three chapters I'll make into one video. Because it's very boring these chapters. Hey Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about twenty minutes ago and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into that. God, hey, stop what that. are you doing? <laughs> Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? Yes. Hey, buddy, this is the least of your problems. Okay, you're the security guard. You have to worry about people breaking in and stealing shit. Hey, shut up, I'm talking here. Hello, creepy looking guy. And yes, another loading screen. Now we want to go this way. We'll go into there later. And Easter egg number one. All these names, except for Freeman, are people who work for Valve, who are on the development team for this game. Thought you might like to know that. If you didn't, well now you do. Too bad. And here we get our HEV, has this environment. Suit. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV Protective System for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there was something important about these books, but I can't remember what the deal was behind that. No, I thought that guy yelled at you for it being occupied. Oh well. I didn't. Ha! Drying my hands, bitch. So yeah. That's the locker room. In here is the break room with soda. And My God, what are you doing? 
exploding stuff. It is my job. I am a theoretical physicist. Ah, it's good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you too. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. I see thing I've only been recording ten minutes. This first video probably end up being a longer one. It might only be the uh, might blah, 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 blah. It might end up being the only Half-Life videos, no, Half-Life Source videos I'm going to record tonight. I'm also going to end up recording some Blue Shift for you, because I'm going to be playing those two at once. Now I'm hoping that's in Fahrenheit, because if that's in Celsius, holy balls, that's hot. Yeah, I'm going to be also playing through Blue Shift and Opposing Force at the same time. And before any of you ask for the decay, I do have it somewhere. I, mean, I know I've got the PS2 version of Half Life. It's just currently. I think they locked me out. I say it's just currently I've got no way of recording it, and I don't really know of anyone personally who would want to record a video with me for YouTube. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Control room, test lab, plasma cells, ionization chambers. This is easy because they all lead to the same place, they so just go through each other. I've got level 3 security, buddy. It said so in the intro. And you don't question the intro. And I'm hoping that, like, if I'm talking when the loading screens come up, it does actually show in the video because my frames drop to like zero whenever it loads so who knows ah gordon here you are we just sent the sample down to the test chamber we've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent bit of gamble but we need the extra resolution the administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample i gather they went to some lengths to get it they're waiting for you gordon in the test chamber. And then Dr. Vance, Dr. Kleiner, uh, one of these other two guys is Rosen, and I can't remember the name of the thir of the fourth scientist model. Eli Vance is, was well, like the African American guy here. He was retconned into Eli Vance. And this golden guy was retconned into Eli Vance, in, into Isaac Kleiner. And one of these two is Rosen, and I can't remember the last guy's name. Quick. It's about to go critical. It just went bazap. You guys worry too much. Let me in. I have important shit to break. I mean, I mean to work with. And I do have to admit, I am bored shitless every time I start a Half-Life game. Because these bits are so boring. ...deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. That's what she said. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. Yeah, I just want to stick my crystal thingy inside the zappy thingy. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. I'm in. Shut the door on me. Thank you. Oh, don't want to fall in there. Testing. Testing. No, I can't hear you. Everything seems to be in order. You want to tell me what to do now, Docs? Until 
spinny 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 very good we'll take it from here power to stage one emitters in three two one i'm seeing predictable phase arrays Stage two, two emitters, emitters activating now. Yeah. Gordon, yes. we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please work as quickly as you can. Didn't you say you're operating at eighty percent, though? Capacitors to one oh five percent. Oh. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. I remember I, I once got in here. The sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any okay. now. But look to the delivery system for your specimen. Score. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Oh, oh, damn, I want to explain that crystal. Um, it's a crystal from the homeworld of Zen, it's where the aliens come from. The G-Man donated it to Black Mesa Labs. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's poorly animated, the screen's happy things and aliens are falling from the sky! Oh, what a world! Ah! Where am I? Why is everything back? What's going on? What's going on? Have I lost my eyes? Oh, good. good. I'm back in this exploding test lab. I feel a lot safer. Oh my god! Ah, alien thingies! Ah, board again! I mean, alien thingies! I'm not supposed to know what these are called yet! And I'm in a square room for some reason. Welcome to our unfo un unforeseen consequences. Yep, shit is all fucked up now. No, they killed one of my scientists. But you still let me through. No good, Doc. He's dead. Let me punch him. Oh wait, I don't have a weapon. Now, strangely enough, this has actually killed me in my test run of this game. Like walking through the area with the lasers up ahead. Oop, spoiler alert. Like seriously guys, the original game came out in 1998. The Source remake came out in 2001. Seriously, statute of limitations is up. Why didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. No, just a zombie. Him and all our phones are out. Please get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Come on then. I hope those people, and I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Come on then, Eli, come on. Ah! Weird jumpy thingies that I'm trying really hard not to call the name. Oh, it's fine, they're head crabs. Wouldn't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope? It's okay, Eli, your friend. Final, get a pet one. Whoops, spoiler again. But seriously, I know, I like seriously, Valve have got official merchandise of these head crabs as a hat. I so fucking want one. Like seriously, that's the nerdiest but coolest thing I've ever saw. Seen. And yes, I did actually know that was coming. Oh shit, I just re remembered that. <laughs> Let's play Curse right there. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh. Ah, head crab. Anyway, I guess I should go over controls. Standard FPS controls. W A S D to move. Space to jump. Control to crouch. Shift in this game walks. So I think control. I mean, caps lock does nothing. And F is flashlight. Zappy, 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 zappy. We're running, 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 running. Crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. Now I can fight and go boom, 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 boom. Bonnie! Wait a second, Bonnie's not in that one. He's meant to be. You ruined the game! Even though it's. Even though it was only a um, sequel that may or may not be canon because it hasn't been conformed, con confirmed or contradicted by Valve. Ah, zombie! Wow, usually he manages to kill the alien. Gimme... oh. Okay, I would have gone a gun shortly anyway. Ah, didn't realize right click shot too. Learn something every day. How dare you hit me. Let's see, I'm gonna go this way, get some health. And I know there's some ammo in here as well. Which is a good little trick, because you can now go into Guthrie's locker, where he has two clips for you. Not mags, clips. Plus, your battery has respawned. 15%. And... Power 30%. Well, then we have health here. Good to know, your pistol's what you're going to be using almost entirely throughout most of the game. Well, most of these early stages anyway. Well, let's wander around, find out where we're meant to be going, because this game is very good at providing you absolutely zero direction. Oh. There, there. Don't, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Wow, that sucks for you. And for some reason, what is love is stuck in my head. Yay for old songs. Leave the doctor alone. Even though I can't get in there. I love that. <laughs> that cracks me up every time. Yay, I killed one! Whoops! On my head. Now, here is something that I don't believe actually has any effect in the game whatsoever. They don't like flashing lights. But that allows you to just... whack. If I do know if you destroy that, he does stop going and actually attack you. Sector B, coolant reserve facility. More ammo. Through here. And for some reason, when I first played this game, this bit took me forever. Yes, literally, all you do is press that button. That took me forever to figure out. I can't remember what these things are called. All I know is they take three hits to kill. Oh no, I'm thinking of the label. No, I'm not. All right. Stop getting body parts rained on you, man. It the it's the G-Man! And then in here some health in case you need it. 
but you more than likely would not have needed it by now. Uh, I'm trying to remember which way is the correct way. This way is the correct way. So we go in here. Kill the head crab. And we can head up here. Come blow that up. And oh my god, there's no G Man here. Yeah, the deal with the G Man is he's just a mysterious government figure. Um, his name comes from the slang term G Man, which is for a federal agent, in case any of you guys didn't realize. Sup? And, um,. Yeah, no one really knows its origins. It's just this mysterious figure who is directly involved in the events of Pathlight. That's all there is to it. There's something that's spawned on the other side of this door. Oh my god, it's a Vortigaunt! Yeah, more ammo. Which is good, because I needed some ammo. Yes, head crabs literally take two hits. What's up? Yes, there was a guy in there. And now you're in the sewers! Yay! Because what is a game without a sewer part? Come on, let me get it. Oh shit. Hello, back there. Unfortunately, you're stuck. <sighs> and here is a surprisingly frustrating part. I mean, not that's any sort of difficult part, but oh my god, it's running away without me. And wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah, head grabs. But they're easy to dodge. Just stand at the back. And just move around, that's all there is to it. Just M1 and stand perfectly still, really. Yes, there's a heap of head crabs falling down. What of it? Now you can just pot shot. Ah. You shouldn't really need to be told all this. I mean, it is an FPS just to shoot anything that moves. And then what you can do is just break all of these. Ah, headcrab's still alive. Ah, two headcrab's still alive. Because what will end up happening if you destroy all of these is you will get some ammo. Yes, that's right. Break these boxes right now, and you'll get some unbelievably free ammo. And I also remember this part pissing me off as a kid when I first played this. I don't know why. I say as I fear that I fuck it up. I mean, look, it is. 
literally that simple. In fact, that's not even the way you're meant to do it. So you're meant to go in through there. Then you pop out here. But nope, I'm that pro that I just jump it. I actually completely forgot about that way, to be honest with you, and I uh, was actually fearing for my life just then. Yep. Barnacles. You definitely whoa shit. Definitely want to get rid of the barnacles and this guy ASAP. And best way to do that is from up here. Barnacles only take four shots with the pistol to kill. I say is that one takes more. even though the barnacles aren't going to affect you too much from there then you want to head down here into the canals and you want to always be alert because those head crabs are everywhere and I mean everywhere you know the head crabs are like the um... they're just the grunt enemy of the game really like you can't even call them the basic soldier because they do nothing I mean, the basic soldier would probably be the head crab zombies. Anyway, the only real barnacles that you need to kill are these ones here. And what you do is in, move, 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 move here. I also remember that part pissing me off when I first played this too. Again, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because when I first played this, I sucked at video games. Yeah, random head grab. What the hell is that? Like, seriously, I've never seen that before. I don't think it's going to do it again for me, but rewind you'll see like it seriously looked like a hunk of meat go flying out of the water and jump over there I've seriously got no idea what the hell that was and the loading screen yay and oh this bit can be can actually be frustrating because of Half-Life's amazing physics engine! Hooray! Physics engines! Nope, wrong button. Sorry, I just always get into the habit of quick saving every time I can die. And that is why it can get frustrating. Let's play Curse right there. Ah! Didn't mean to jump! Ah! Ah! Oof. See? I don't get cursed in a tutorial. No, that would be too predictable. I get cursed going up a fucking ladder. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's play curse. What are we gonna do with you? Yeah. And now on the other side of this bit. How amazing. Anyway, wandering around, there is an elevator. Now, I know we get... Hello, lag. Go away, lag. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm... Okay, lag still isn't fixed. Anyway, I know we get told not to use elevators in fires, but it doesn't say anything about resonance cascades, so... Let's try to get through this lag. And... No. Anyway, that's the end of the first three chapters. And I do believe I couldn't have picked a better time to end off because we are getting the absolute living shit lagged out of us. So next time, we will, wa we will wander through the office complex and hopefully not be lagged to all hell. See you guys.